Oh, welcome back to another VFX tutorial and this time I'm gonna recreate clone, make it sameish from a game which I saw. Um, it's called Record of Lodos War, deal it in Wonderland Labyrinth. Yeah, so much about having short titles, but the game is looking pretty spectacular by the way. And they got this, these cutscenes where you just have this kind of radial smoke effect in the background. This is what we're going to copy. And then, well, you just have a sprite which is being drawn in the center and it's kind of getting swapped. And then, well, you got some text. Um, this part I'm going to skip completely because uh, you can do this by yourself with a uh, scribble. So here, text is scribble and then, well, uh, nine slice pizza <laughs> links in the description below this is where you can find how you can recreate this and here i'm just uh, hot swapping one sprite I, I, um, I guess that that is the thing you can recreate but the background is looking pretty neat also so how can we reproduce it well let's go into yeah i already painted a little bit over that dude here so basically we're just having three elements so basically here text box with some text which is getting swapped then a sprite which is being uh, swapped and then of course we got from the very center a radially uh, clouds coming in and then one thing which is uh, noteworthy so uh, the closer they come to the screen so basically we have to have those particles uh, getting bigger in size and then of course they need to go and be a little bit faster so here this is parallax for you so it appears that they are coming from one point and then they're getting bigger. Alrighty, so let's clone that thing. And um, should I copy paste it? Nah. So you see just uh, the proof, proof of concept. And now what we can actually do, and this is, uh, let's make this a little bit easier to understand. So basically I'm just creating a particle system in this little object of course this is not optimal by the way but i if you've seen my other videos on particle systems you understand why external file is always a bad idea and then of course we create our particle which is then having a shape of the smoke of course these are the inbuilt shapes which is pretty neat and then we just give it one color which is greenish so rgb so this is pretty cool now you can do uh, rgb colors or whatever you didn't you don't have to use the internal uh, colors of game maker then well the alpha which is going from zero so it's popping in then it's getting uh, up to 10 percent so 0 0.1 and then once again in the end of its life it's disappearing then we give it a specific size here i, I just played with one which is, i guess good enough of course if you want to have it a little bit more uh, variable uh, or more a little bit more random then of course here change the numbers because you need to adjust it to your screen sizes and then here uh, we make it a little bit bigger so the parallax effect appears more or less then we need to have it additional blending so additive blending so here yes and then well we give it an orientation so it spins around a little bit so between 0 and 360 by spawning and then we well have 0.1 and then it's turning slowly around here which is pretty nice we add uh, one to wiggle of course if you want to have it a little bit more you just go with higher numbers i guess it goes up to 20 and then what we're gonna do we give this particle some speed and a direction which i didn't input so here for example what you could do so if you want to have it from one point and of course let's go a little bit higher let's see 40 and then for example if we start it then we of course need to well, spawn our particles and you can do this in the step event if you like in our object and then we need middle points so the middle point is somewhere here and then of course we need in camera x and y point so here then half half the width and the height and then we are landing here and therefore I guess you've seen that in my other tutorials. So we get from the camera the X and Y position, plus go a little half of the screen of the width and then half of the screen of the height. So we go down and right. And these points we can use to spawn radially our well, particles. So let's check this out now. And as you can see, looks already pretty cool, but I thought like, hey, let's make this a little bit more advanced. So we have kind of a center area where 
we are having uh, well where, where it's kind of um, cut outside and therefore we need to define kind of a ring here so to make this a little bit more um, well transparent for you guys so you can understand how this actually looks like so let's say we define a variable which I just called radius because this is the radius of our ring let's go on true so I just pre-prepared that yeah we need to have that double so let's check this out again so basically this is our center point and this is the ring on which we want to spawn our particles but now we need to every time we are spawning a particle we need to give it a specific um, direction so let's say we are spawning it here then of course it needs to go in a specific direction it cannot go inside therefore we need to modify our code a little bit so what do we do well we just say like hey um, every time we create a new particle we give it a specific direction so here uh, and we cut this one out but we cannot just do it like this we need to uh, give it a few more inputs and those inputs are well bound to uh, length dear function so if you haven't seen length here link in the description once below so once again we are grabbing the middle point and from this point on so hopefully you can make this a little bit more easy to understand so so come on, we have our middle point here in the very middle. Then we have well a ring, and then for example to grab those points, we have we need to grab this point, and then with length here, for example this one, and then we know where to go from here. Alrighty, so how can we do this? Well, we just say like, hey, what kind of radius do we want? We defined this variable at the very beginning, and then we need a specific direction. And this one, I guess we uh, can set up as a variable, so as a temporal variable. And now we need to pass this direction in because we can only go in one specific direction every time because this is, uh, well, everything is combined and bound. Let's check this out, how this works. And this should be it, hmm, completely wrong doesn't really matter so this isn't working why well, it's not because we didn't input the new ones my bad that was a little bit too fast and of course here 360 because we want to have a nice even round and now as you can see this is looking definitely better because here it appears that our center point is kind of uh, empty and then uh, if we are, for example, having a picture, come on, show a picture, as you can see, boom, it looks a little bit nicer. And here we got a pretty cool background effect in, wow, eight minutes, and I was not even typing a lot. So here, once again, you can go and do a little bit more adjustments. So you can have a specific amount, yada, yada, yada. I thought like, hey, don't do too many things. For example, what I did, I just overdid uh, the clouds, and then the effect wasn't looking too nice. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Hopefully you enjoyed this and now you can recreate this pretty cool thing by yourself. Or if you're Patreon, well, <laughs> you can just open the project and check it out by yourself. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indeed.